She sells seashells by the seashore. Man, see, she sells seashells by the seashore. Yes. <laughs> Why the f is she selling seashells by the seashore? She should go to like somewhere where there isn't water, like Saskatchewan or something. Yeah, come on. What? What are you doing? Your I business plan sucks. <laughs> Get a new one. <laughs> She sells by a seashore. Yeah! All right, the friends. <laughs> Close enough. It's, it's good, it's good. This is the weight loss breakfast prep. This is the weight, weight loss breakfast prep. It's a weight loss breakfast prep. <laughs> I would have pulled multiple muscles if I did that dance, just to let you know. <gasps> well, we warmed up with she sells, she sells, and now I'm good. She sells, so, she sells, she, she, she can't do it. What's that other one? Baby bunker, baby rub. For bunky baby bunkers. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Okay, the friends. <laughs> we're we're moving on now. <laughs> okay, the friends. Today I am gonna show you how to make a super tasty breakfast prep for easy weight loss. Breakfast was super important for my weight loss journey because whenever I skipped meals, especially breakfast at the beginning of my journey, I would go off track. I would end up being so hungry by the end of the day that I'd end up overeating, eating way more than I planned, and then it would just set me up for failure. So I realized I needed to have super tasty breakfasts that were prepped, that were easy to make, that would fill me up, have me be satisfied, which would help me stay on track and meet all my weight loss goals. So I'm going to show you one that's actually really special today because well, one, the main meal only has four ingredients, but the other thing, the other day I saw somebody eating these like, what would you call them? Pancake bites or puffs? They looked super tasty and I started craving them. So I decided to make a low calorie version that would satisfy my craving, but still allow me to stay on my diet because right now I'm eating in a calorie deficit, which is about 1900 calories for me so that I can get as lean and fit as possible. So I'm making one and I'm super excited and this is an experiment. So welcome along. Guess what we're making? Cinnamon sugar protein pancake bites with fresh fruit and cheesecake yogurt dip. Wow. Now that breakfast, you're gonna wake up tomorrow and jump out of bed going, oh yeah, I have these prepped. And high in protein, gonna keep you full, gonna keep you satisfied. You're gonna want for nothing and you're not even gonna feel like you're on a diet. What? <laughs> this is why I've been able to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for six years and I keep getting in better shape. Whoa. And I just started fitting in a size five for the first time ever in my life because I'm loving my food. <gasps> All right. <laughs> So uh, for this, I'm gonna use a mini muffin pan, and I believe this one has the 24 mini muffin cups or whatever you wanna call it. I've got it sprayed with cooking spray, and I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. Be generous with that spray. Don't be like Nicole, like a cheapskate. <laughs> since, when, <laughs> since when was I a cheapskate? You, you were, uh, 2007. <laughs> that one day. Next, um, I'm gonna use a protein pancake mix. You can use any protein pancake mix that you want, as long as it's one that you just mix water with as it. As long as it's this one. <laughs> no, just kidding. Use any protein pancake mix. The cool thing now is we get these at normal grocery stores in Canada, and that used to be pretty rare. They're everywhere now. Yeah, so no matter where you are, you should be able to find one. This one came from Zares in Canada, like Kyle said. This is the PC Blue Menu Buttermilk Protein Pancake Mix. You Use any one you want. I'll give you an example calorie-wise. Half a cup prepared, which is about two pancakes, it's 200 calories. So find something around that. Um, I'm doing an experiment. So I'm going to make three days worth, and you guys are coming on the journey. So let's see what happens. So I think this is what we do. Out really good, we, we get cravings. We see people at like fast food restaurants or online on YouTube eating cool stuff that's not low calorie. And the genius Nicole is like, hey, let's try to make it low calorie and yeah. put more protein in it. 
Exactly, because I still love food. I still get cravings, but I want to stay on my diet and get as fit as I can. So I can do both. I can eat really tasty stuff like pancake bites, but I'll just make them low calorie. Um, so I'm gonna do one and a half cups of this pancake mix. Don't do this at home. Yeah, don't do that. Sorry, dentists. <laughs> All right, so about one and a half cups, and then we're gonna use water. I'm a professional. Okay, and okay. Sass is gonna give me heck for this because he hates when I use little bowls and things, but. There's a reason I'm not gonna use a bowl, I'm gonna use a measuring cup, big one, because when I pour the batter in, I think it'll be easier to have a spout than if I prepped it in a bowl. It's not so much that I hate when you do this, it's more like I lose lots of respect for you. <laughs> and now I'm gonna experiment with the water. I think I'm first, I'm gonna go with one and a quarter cups and see how that works. And then I'm gonna go from there. I'll add more if I think it needs it. So literally, so you don't want to mix it all in this. <laughs> I would if I could, honestly. So this looks about good. Oops, I am spraying. Sorry. Not the last time you'll do that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna mix this up until it's really well combined, and then I'm gonna pour it into the muffin tins, and then we're gonna mix it after to make it cinnamon sugar. Doesn't it look runny? It does. I think actually, should we maybe add a little bit more pancake mix? Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. let's do that. Okay, so let's... I am an expert because I've made these zero times before, so well, you should listen to me. This is an experiment, so we're going to see what happens here. So scratch the one and a half cups. Let's do... What are we doing now? Um, let's, um... Let's go a quarter cup here, another quarter cup. I think that should do it. Yeah, that looks much better. So one and three quarter cups of batter and one and a quarter cups of water. Yeah, that looks much better. Much better. And then of course, like, I'll give you an estimated amount of calories for the whole, like, meal at the end, but Obviously, this is an experiment, so it's not, it's just an estimate. And there's gonna be more to this breakfast prep, not just these donut hole, whatever we're calling them. They're, we're calling them, sassy, we're calling them cinnamon sugar protein pancake bites. All right. So now that I got the mix done, I'm just literally gonna pour it in and see how many it makes, and then I'll divide it between the three days. So let's fill them almost full. I have to show Nicole's <laughs> professional baking skills. Here. Oh my gosh, I took out a spatula, but this is so much easier. We have a spatula literally right here. <laughs> but this is more fun, don't and you think? And a spoon. It's more fun. Okay, so I'm. some of these are a little full, so I'm just going to take and put over here. Oh my gosh, I'm like a kid. Look at my hands. This is why this is an experiment, guys. Okay. And we're gonna do this. And that is perfect. That I was hoping it would make about a whole tray's worth. Yeah, pretty, pretty close. Okay, I'm gonna put them in the oven for about eight minutes to start. And then I'll tell you how much time it actually took. Okay, so we're gonna do some fresh fruit. I've been craving some grapes and some fresh strawberries. So I'm just gonna pull a few of these red seedless grapes off. And I'm gonna do about half a cup of the seedless grapes and about a quarter cup of the strawberries. And I'm gonna put them in these containers. So I'm doing three days worth. And I'm gonna put the fruit into this little container here. And you guys always love these containers and ask where I get them from, Walmart. Walmart in the regular container aisle. So I'm just gonna measure roughly. Remember Tony the Tiger, his famous saying used to say, they're grapes. That was pretty funny, Sassy Bear. <laughs> All right, so we got about a half a cup there. And then, look at my grapes peeling skill. What do you call that, pulling grape pulling? You didn't peel a single grape. We pull these off the vine, what are these, vines? Yeah, you're a grape puller. Grape puller. <laughs> hey, my Nona and Nonu were professional grape pullers. They made their own wine. All right, 
there we go. So that's done. Now, do not do this at home. I'm about to do the old Italian trick my Nona taught me, which is to cut in my hand. Yeah, don't do this. Operation, don't do what I'm doing. All right, that's going in here. So how much fruit total in each breakfast? I'm doing three quarters of a cup fruit, half a cup of grapes and a quarter cup of strawberries. And, um, you know, this is just eyeballing because it's, it's all portioned out. So it's about, you know, the portions and an estimate of the calories. And a fun breakfast that's pretty healthy. That's really tasty and it's gonna keep you full because it's got tons of fiber and protein and tasty. And then I'm three days is perfect for the um, to stay in the fridge. Um, so all these are just gonna go right in the fridge once the protein pancake bites are done and cool. So these are ready to go. I'm gonna put the bites in here and I'm gonna be using ground cinnamon and zero calorie sweetener. Once the pancake puffs are done, I'm gonna dump them in the bag with some half a cup of stevia and two tablespoons of cinnamon. Or this sweetener, no, it's not. Sorry, I call it stevia. Zero calories, three. You could use stevia, probably. Whatever you want. I just, I don't know why, but I call all zero calorie sweetener stevia. I'm weird. And now I'm gonna make some Greek yogurt and I'm gonna actually dip my fruit in it or just dump my fruit Whoa. in it on the day that I eat it. So it's literally gonna be half a cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt and I'm gonna put a tablespoon of this cheesecake jello pudding mix, which is sugar-free and fat-free, into it so that it's like cheesecake fruit dip. This is why I married you. Finally, after 15 years of being together, I know the reason I married you. You figured it out. Yeah. That's because I'm a genius. I had no other reasons before today. <laughs> this uh, breakfast is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be I awesome. have faith that those things will turn out in the oven. <laughs> I have faith as well. I'm just pretending they're beautiful. So we're just gonna bing half a cup in here. And we like to use the plain fat free because if you get the flavored, it does tend to have more carbs and sugar. So we like to just flavor it ourselves and we can control the calories and stuff better that way. All right, so we got that. And then if my calculations are correct, I have pretty much exactly enough left in here for all of these. So I'm just gonna take a tablespoon. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Yeah, if you guys haven't tried this sugar-free uh, cheesecake jello pudding, it's amazing. Okay, so we've got it all in there. Now I'm just gonna mix this all up. This is literally like super you guys, quick. Yeah, this <laughs> is tasty. like gourmet breakfast. That, like if you stayed at like a fancy hotel in the morning, you would get this kind of breakfast. This smells so good. Like, I love this cheesecake pudding mix. We actually do have to get this flavor online because we live in Canada, but I think in the States, you guys pretty much have it available everywhere. So there we go. So I'm just gonna mix these all up and then we're just waiting for the pancake bites. These are so awesome. Like, look at Oh, wow. Walmart. Magic. You guys wanna know. Okay, so that is done. What I'm gonna do now is measure, let's just wipe my hands on stuff. I'm gonna put this stuff in the bag. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of the ground cinnamon. I use air cinnamon usually when I bake, but if you wanna go with ground today, <laughs> that's fine. This is also why I married you, because you laugh at all. I try to make the worst jokes on the planet and see who laughs, and usually it's this one here. Hey. I got a funny joke, dad joke for you. Do you want to know about it? No, because I, I tell the jokes around here. Okay, so. but it's great. You're going to love it. I'm going to put half a cup of this zero calorie sweetener in here in the bag. And then you do shake and bake and I help. I'm just going to seal it up and then shake it around so that it's all mixed up. Shake and bake and I help. Okay, you want to know my joke? Uh, no, I yes. already said Yes, no. the friends are saying yes. What do you call a cow with no legs? I don't know. Ground beef. <laughs> because you know because it lays on the ground. <laughs> it's already on the ground with legs. They no, don't but fly. If it doesn't have any legs, then its body goes on the ground. 
When you have to explain a joke, it's not funny. They like it. No, no one likes it. I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm cutting that out. <laughs> this is ready. I'm going to check on the bites now. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I, they worked! They puffed they up! Worked. Our oven's dirty. Yeah. <laughs> we need to have a t-shirt that says, don't judge me for my oven. <laughs> Look at that puff action. I know, they turned out beautiful. Cool. Now I'm about to do something uh, experimental again. Uh, we're just gonna literally do this. Uh oh. Oops. I think let's, I banged one. Let's see how this goes. All right, one, two, three. Come on, guys. We know you want to come out of there. Are they working? Nope. <laughs> yeah, no. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, more. Yes. Of them. Come on. Shake it. Shake it, baby. Okay, close. Close. Kay. We need a fork. We need. <laughs> okay, so we have we went from twenty four to ten. Yes. What are you doing? Spooning them? Is it Spoonage. working? So, uh, more spray. Yeah. See what I told you about the spray? Okay, he was right. There we go. Hey, but actually, they're they're pretty clean. They're out. they're pretty good. All right, so I think um. Eight minutes, I think probably nine minutes would have worked, but we're going with eight there. They look pretty good, actually. Yeah, they do. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do, um, it turns out I actually made four days worth. So, cause I think I'm gonna go with about six per. So I made, I ended up making way more than I expected, which is cool. So the calories for the entire meal, about six pancake puffs, half a cup of the cheesecake yogurt dip, and three quarters cup of fruit, it's gonna be around 390 calories, give or take. That's just an estimate. It'll depend on what you use for your protein pancake mix, how many you do per serving, but that's what I'm gonna go with. And I think I'm gonna do one serving of them at a time and roll them around a bit. All right, we said cooling. Would you actually wanna toss them in warm? I wanna do it warm. So I ended up, I just let them cool here for a few seconds. And yes, this is actually turning out pretty good. And you know what? I'm glad we made extra because I'm actually going to taste one of oh, the extra ones. Go. Now in Canada, we have Tim Hortons and they have Tim Bits and this is exactly what they look like. So yeah, this is like my low calorie version of those really cool pancake pie things I Whoa. saw. And yes, you do want to do it warm so that they get all rolly and yummy. And then I think I'm going to literally put them in the microwave, I don't know, 30 seconds or, or a minute depending. So this is actually much better. I was gonna shake them all in, but I think I like this method. Yeah. Do whatever method you like, you like the best. You could probably even put this on a plate. They're coating pretty well. They are, yeah. So we got six, six, and then we'll make a, a taster for me and you, Sassaruna. Oh, I was hoping there'd be an extra. I was hoping to. Okay, now we're just gonna go crazy like. Let's yeah, just... you only have a couple left. Okay, so those are the ones made for the breakfast. Now let's throw these in here and then have a taste. Okay, so I'll go first because this, this could be dangerous. Let's get a close up of this one. Wow. Cool. So let's see if my combination amounts worked and everything. Ready? Uh huh. Mmm. Hey, pretty good. What a breakfast. I I would do eight and a half or nine minutes. Yeah. And that's about it at 350. Wanna try one little one? Or a sassy one? I'll try a big one. <laughs> and then the friends. Um I'll probably also top them with Walden Farms pancake syrup. Mmm. And then some swerve. Icing sugar, I'll actually show that. They turned out pretty good, eh? Yeah. So I'll probably just put a little sprinkle of this. This is basically sugar-free icing sugar. Yeah, they need a bit more sweetness, so that would do it, or some uh, sugar-free syrup. Yeah, and that's um, this stuff right here is probably what I'll do. That'll make them perfect. Yeah, I think so. 
that was pretty good. Thanks for joining me on the experiment, the friends. So I'm just gonna put lids on these once they totally cool down, put everything in the fridge and that's it. I have three days worth of breakfast. I have no excuse to go off track and I don't want to because these breakfasts are super tasty. This is why Kyle and I have both lost 130 pounds and we've kept it off for six years because we prep our meals so there's no excuse to go off our plan and everything that we eat is so tasty, we don't want to go off track because there is no track. We love all our food. Can I interrupt you again? Yes. I just thought of this. We have cream cheese and cinnamon. It's like a cinnamon bun. Did you think of that? Well, is this, isn't this yogurt? Yeah, but you know like cinnamon buns have the cream cheese icing? Oh yeah, so like cheesecake, yes, sort of like a cinnamon bun in a way. Yeah, like a cin like a cinnamon, like, like you know? a cheesecake yogurt cinnamon bun. Yeah. Yeah, look what we invented. <laughs> okay, so the friends, that is it. And if you want to know exactly what Kyle and I ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, check out our weight loss guides. We got two in the links down below. Exact meal plans, exact portions, family friendly recipes. It's all in there. And you can watch these two videos. And of course, when we got to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like your mama make it. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. And this is a beam for a PG for YouTube. So we're shaking our beam and we're going to lawn more out. Ready? <laughs> My hands are full of cinnamon. Yes. That is it. I love pancake bites. I'm gonna have another bite to say goodbye. Mmm. That one was even better. Love you. See ya. Bye. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bite through it. You can do it. Don't give up.